a very happy new year to you. Yeah, the new year has begun. The year we have been waiting for after long and a rather difficult 2020. Now, a new year always excites me. I could start using my new calendar. I imagine all the new things I would like to see happen in my ministry. I'm hopeful to be able to visit my family in the Netherlands this year. I make plans and I trust God to do amazing things. And my excitement about 2021 is based on my faith in Jesus. Because he says, I am the Alpha, the beginning. We can expect many things to change this year, either for good or for bad. Yet through it all, we may know and trust in the one who will never change. Therefore, I want to suggest to start the year thinking about him. And as I prepared, I came across a sermon by John Piper. And this morning, I would like to share part of his message with you. It is entitled, I am Alpha and Omega. And I want to start by reading from Revelations chapter 21 verses 1 to 8. And I quote, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out, out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men, he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the fountain of the water of life without payment. He who conquers shall have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, as for murderers, fornicators, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their lot shall be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Now in Revelation 21 verse 6, God identifies himself as Alpha and Omega. And Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet, and Omega is the last letter of the alphabet. In other words, God is the beginning and the end. But God isn't speaking about alphabets. He is speaking of reality. God is absolutely the beginning and absolutely the end. Everything that is originates ultimately in Him. And everything will somehow end with him. Isaiah put it like this, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. This is in Isaiah 44 verse 6. In other words, since everything comes from God and nothing will outlast God, Therefore, God has no final competitors. Besides me, there is no God. God has the first word and the last word in history. All other attempts to have the last word will fail. The pottery has no beginning apart from the potter. And in the end, it will all serve the purposes of the potter. Alpha. I can't urge you too often to meditate on the staggering truth that God is the absolute Alpha. Just find a, a quiet moment and, and let that truth take hold of you that God is the first, the beginning. Before him, there was nothing. There was no before him. <laughs> Just think of it. 
For millions and billions and trillions of unending years, God existed and never had a beginning. He is the beginning. From everlasting to everlasting, He is God. We read in Psalm 90, verse 2. There never was a time when He was not. We might marvel that God is infinite, eternal and unchanging in His justice, wisdom, power, goodness and truth. But when you pause to think that He never chose to be this way, nor did anyone else choose to make him this way. It staggers the mind. The justice and wisdom and power and goodness and truth of God are eternal reality. The character of God is not what reality brought forth. It is reality. God did not emerge out of many possibilities. Everything emerged out of him. He determines all possibilities. God is not a piece of reality that you try to fit in with other pieces. He is the first and the last and the all-encompassing reality. In him we live and move and have our being, it says in Acts 17 verse 28. And um, John's Piper, John Piper's message um, is quite a bit longer, but... Uh, I want to leave it with this and um, just a few thoughts about him being the beginning and I want to encourage you to start 2021 with God who is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows the end from the beginning. No matter what, trust God's timing because he is good. He will not change and he is faithful. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that we may know you and that we can trust in you. You who are the beginning, you who know the end from the beginning. At the beginning of last year, we could never have imagined all that took place throughout 2020, but we have gone through that year together with you and we know that this year too, you will go with us. You are faithful, you are good, you're trustworthy and help me help each one of us to put our lives into your hands and trust our plans, our expectations, our hopes everything to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this new year and that we may expect new things and that through it all, yes, you enable us to go with you, to follow in Jesus' footsteps and to continually serve you. Help us to do that. In Jesus' name. Amen.